Hey guys, expanding brackets is a skill that comes up so often in algebra. It is one of the, the core fundamental things you need to be able to do. So here is a video working you through loads and loads of examples. If you want more examples, if you want to practice, over my website you can get my algebra workbook which takes you through loads and loads of different things, easy, medium and hard. Um, this comes up in so, so many questions. So please spend the time making sure you can do this skill properly. Good luck guys. So when we multiply our brackets, we have to make sure what is outside is times by each of the things inside. So we need to do uh, 7 times by 5x. That is going to give us 35x. Then we need to do 7 times minus 3. That is going to give us minus 21. So overall our answer is 35x minus 21. Here we have minus 4, which we need to times by 9x, and minus 4, which we need to times by minus 3. So minus 4 times 9x is going to give us minus 36x. Minus 4 times minus 3 is going to give us plus, minus times a minus gives us a plus, 12. When we're talking about expanding and simplifying, we need to take um, what we can currently see, expand out any brackets, and then collect all of the like terms together. So here we need to multiply out this bracket, so we need to take 4 times it by this, and times it by this. That will give us 4 times 2x, which is 8x minus 4. Then we need to take this 3 times it by this one, times it by this one, and that will give us plus 3x plus uh, 18. Now we need to get all of the things that are the same together. So here we have something with an x in and something with an x in. So we can go 8x plus 3x. Uh, here we have a number and here we have a number minus 4 plus 18. Now 8x plus 3x, you just add the 8 and the 3 together. So that will give us 11x minus 4 plus 8 will give us plus 4. So I've expanded out the brackets and I've simplified it. Here I have 2 outside the brackets, so I need to times it by this one. I only know times it by this one, that will give me 2x plus 8 plus 4x minus 3. Now we can collect all the x terms together, so that is 2x plus 4x, plus 8, minus 3. Now I can sort that out, so 2x plus 4x is going to be 6x, um, 8 minus 3 is going to be plus 5. Here we have 4 outside the bracket, so I want to times it by this one, and I want to times it by this one, and 5, that one times by that one, and by that one. So 4 times 2x is going to give me 8x, plus 12, minus 15x, uh, minus 35. Collecting all the terms together, I'm going to get 8x minus 15x plus 12 minus 35. Um, that is going to give me minus 7x, um, 12 minus 35 is going to be minus 23. Here are some more to expand and simplify. So that is going to give us 12w plus 3 minus 15w plus 10. So we are going to have 12w minus 15w plus 3 plus 10. That is going to be minus 3 plus 13. So here we end up with 20x plus 10 minus 20x, um, which, oops, x, not z, um, which is going to give us 10 as the answer. Longer one here, but still follows exactly the same principle. Um, we've got quite a lot of brackets to expand out here, so we have n plus 5 n plus 5, I'm just going to deal with this bit first, that is going to give us n squared plus 5n 
plus 5 n plus 25, let me tidy that up a bit, n squared plus 10n plus 25 minus um, what we have over here which is n plus 3n plus 3, I'm just going to put all of that in a big brackets for the moment, um, that is going to give us n squared plus 6n uh, plus 9 Remember, this is all minus, so what we're going to end up with is minus n squared minus 6n minus 9. n squared minus n squared, they are just going to cancel. 10n minus 6n is going to give us 4n. 9n, uh, 25 minus uh, 9 is going to give us 16. Um, we've got 4 and we've got something as multiple of 4 here, so we can take that outside the brackets and we can do n minus 4. So we need to do 5 times 7x, which would be 35x minus 10y, um, plus, because we're times in minus 5 by minus 2, so minus times minus is a plus, plus 10x minus 15y. Let's collect all those things together, so that will give us 45x um, minus 25y. Okay, for this type of expanding the brackets, um, there are a number of different ways that different teachers like um, the arrows drawn. I'll show you both of them. You can just decide which one you want, but the really, really important thing is that you are consistent. So you can either draw your arrows like this, and inside ones to outside ones, um, or you can do your arrows going from one to the other, and then from one to the other. Do not mind which way around you draw your arrows as long as you are consistent. I prefer the method on the um, left because you can do this to it and make a smiley face but I know a lot of math teachers prefer the method on the right because it gives you things in the correct order. Um, one thing that is really really good practice to get in doing is once you've um, used the line just to cross it off so that you know you've done it. Um, right, so working out the answers. Um, let's do uh, this line first of all. So that is going to give us x squared. Cross off the line. And then we are going to get plus 8. Cross off the line. And then we are going to get um, x. If we do this one here, x plus 4, which would give us plus 4x. Um, then do the middle bit, and then we have plus 2x. Now the order that the uh, examiner's like this written is x squared plus this bit, 6x plus 8. So you can either draw your lines on first and then cross it out as, you do, as you're doing them or draw your lines on after. Um, I like to draw my lines on as I'm doing them, so I'm going to do that one. x squared minus 30 minus 6x plus 5x. Sort everything out. x squared minus x minus 30. So doing this one first we get 8 minus x squared plus 2x minus 4x, putting all of that together, minus x squared minus 2x plus 8. This one first, 2x minus 5x minus x squared plus 10 minus x squared minus 3x plus 10. x squared minus 15 plus 
5x minus 3x x squared plus 2x minus 15. This one first, 2x squared minus 3 minus 2x plus 3x 2x squared plus x minus 3. This one, 8x squared minus 32 plus 32x minus 8x. 8x squared plus 24x minus 32. This one here, 3x squared minus 24 plus 12x minus 6x, 3x squared plus 6x minus 24. Uh, last one here. 6x squared minus 36 plus 8x minus 27x. 6x squared minus 19x minus 36.